Logos and branding. How do we go from this to this? Today we're going to be talking through how you can easily customize the branding and logos found in your Salesforce. So today we're going to be starting out on the normal Salesforce branding with the Salesforce logo here in the app launcher, as well as all of the different types of blue or sky blue. Now there's two places we can update our branding or the colors we use and the logos that you see throughout Salesforce. So first off, we're gonna jump into the setup. First place that we want to update is gonna be under the themes and branding. So you can find that here in the, the setup menu and this is themes and branding. So you'll see here there's actually already several pre-made that you can easily grab kind of fun you can go in and, and, and activate some other uh, themes that are pre-built uh, I think this one mentioned it was seasonal here uh, you can do here there is a Cody Canyon which is uh, a few different uh, oranges here but if you want to create your own um, let me jump back into the normal just so we can see the difference I want to create my own maybe I have a few colors that are with my brand that I want my Salesforce to reflect I can jump in here I can hit new theme I can put in here, I'm gonna put in my theme. Uh, and from here, I can go ahead and grab these three different colors. So the brand color is gonna be the color that highlights on all of the ribbons as well as the navigation bar. Uh, and so we'll say that my brand, we'll say my brand is, is just a, a various, uh, we'll say kind of the, this pinkish purple color. So we'll have that be a brand color or the, the the brand color found up here, uh, the page button, which is gonna be the page background. Uh, let me grab a similar color, maybe a little more red on that one. And then for the global header, which is this top banner, uh, just to show you what it looks like, I'm gonna put that one, I'll do that one actually a light blue. I'd also like to add a brand image. So instead of this Salesforce icon, I'm gonna add my own image here. I just grabbed some random clip art that I used, just a few random uh, red arrows. But what I wanna do is I want to, to look uh, the other things here. There's different page background. You can have an image as your background. You can have different defaults. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it as is just to show you these colors. Again, I have that lighter pink as the brand color. The page background is a darker, almost magenta, and the global header is this blue. Uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now I want to activate, and you'll notice this happen uh, nearly immediately on this brand. So here we go, you see that pink in the background, you have the lighter pink here, you have my image found up here, and then that blue is the header up here. So this is how you can change this for really everything across your Salesforce org. Uh, this is going to be living across all objects, across all apps as well. So if I were to jump into different apps, this is going to live across all of them. Uh, now, if you are interested in changing app by app specific, that's what we're going to go ahead and look at. Changing just the specific sales app or sales console app and the branding and logos. So let's go ahead and go back in and change this back to the default logos and themes. So now you've seen how you can update the logo and themes and colors across your entire Salesforce org. Now I want to show you how you can customize these app per app. So if you have custom apps that you've built for different teams, whether it's a sales team, an outbound team, a marketing team, a, a customer success team, and you want to customize maybe the colors or just the logo for each of those apps, I want to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to jump back into the setup menu here. And instead of going to themes and branding, we're going to go to the app manager. And what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to go into whichever app we would like to alter and go ahead and go through a similar process that we saw. So in this case, I'm going to go into the lightning sales app, which is commonly used here. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and change the logo and then the primary colors here. So in this case, uh, again, I'll make it very noticeable. So I'll actually do a bright yellow here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and upload a, an image for the sales team. So here we are on the sales app. I still have that yellow primary color and then a photo, just me in front of the Salesforce logo. I'm gonna hit save on this. And again, this is only pertaining to the sales app. 
So now I'm gonna go in and show you what the sales app looks like compared to other apps within your organization. So here I am on the sales app. I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh. You'll now notice here that the yellow highlight is now here as well as the new logo in this sales app. And just to show you it's only in the sales app, if I were to go into, uh, let's say I'll go into the service app here in Salesforce, you'll notice it's still going to have the standard Salesforce uh, cloud as well as that blue. So again, I'm able to change that on an app by app basis within Salesforce using the app manager. I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if I missed anything or if you're interested to know how to customize other brandings or colors or themes within your Salesforce org. Thanks and I'll see you next time.